morning. It's early. It's time for coffee. Yes, I got a haircut. I needed one. I was getting way too fuzzy. Uh, we're going to the field today. The rain is finally broken. It is cold AF, but uh, the rain has finally broken. And we've got saw work to do, debris work to do, and a whole bunch of men who are chomping at the bit to do it. Time to uh, go start the truck, warm it up. Had our morning meeting with the team leads. People are, it's like, uh, it looks like an anthill that you kicked around here. Everybody's scurrying everywhere, which is cool. Good morning. Where are you from? Uh, New York. New York. Say hi to the internet. I'm eating eggs right now. You're eating eggs right now. Stopped. You're part of one of the tree crews. Hmm? Tree crew. Right. Chainsaw stuff. Okay, go eat more eggs. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, there's people everywhere, which is badass. And to the field we go. We also have a what coming? We have a 53 foot semi trailer fully loaded and somewhere between two and four 26 foot box trucks coming along with a convoy of pickup trucks. Today. To donate things. To offload here. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. And we also need a warehouse. And we also need a warehouse now. And I'm going to go to the field and run the machine and let you deal with that. Back on site. Chilly, windy. Time to do the things. Oh, hello, puppy dog. All right, so we're grabbing debris from the homestead site and moving it to the side of the road, air quote, road, so that the county can come through with a grapple truck and pick it up off the side of the road. So I'm using the machine with the grapple to forward it from the homestead site to the side of the road. contact with the people that own this property over here across the road apparently there used to be four trailers over there you can see what's left and uh, we're waiting to get permission to move on their land and get this debris up and get it moved up to the road like what we're doing here on the Kenneth home said yeah I'll take one thank you because uh, the county said thank you if uh, we can get the Debris moved up to the road, they'll come through with their grapple trucks and pick it up. And this whole area where we are right now is West Marshall. There's like no resources deployed out here other than us and a couple of other crews. And uh, so we're working directly with the county on this and they're going to task out stuff as we need it, which is awesome. But uh, this is all NGOs out here. No federal, no state, no very little local. So yeah used to be four trailers over here and down this way there's another guy that's got 80 down trees so tree force is doing a recon over there to start uh, limbing that out and bucking it up into logs so it can get moved with a machine on monday which is tomorrow and here where we're working here this used to be their house you can see the guys over there cutting the i-beams so we can pull the beams out for scrap this debris pile is what used to be the house, and right here is what's left of the power pole. It was snapped in half. Part of it's laying on the ground over here. This thing would focus. 
anyway. Right there, there's the top of the power pole. I don't know where the middle of it is. It's somewhere around here. Found the middle of the power pole. It's in my bucket, along with all this other stuff. After uh, three days of rain, the mud is absurd here today. But, gotta make hay while the sun's shining. AKA, you gotta move debris in the mud. And my little cousin came to say hi. And my mates, which is cool. They're tiny, but I love them anyway. You know, uh, one of our volunteers came up to me a short while ago. Pretty choked up. They said, T, this is a lot. Just meaning the scope of the damage. Picking through people's personal effects. And it is a lot. There's a psychological and spiritual aspect to this as well, not just the physical or the mental. You gotta be cognizant of your people and where they're at. Do they need to take a break physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually? And he's good, he's squared away, he's all right. But yeah, it's a lot. And I just count it a blessing that we get to be able to be out here and do this and provide some help to these people. It's a lot. All right, so I just got word from uh, Alex, our director of operations, that um, things we need, things we don't need. Uh, the number one need in the community is uh, children's medicine, like cough, cold syrup, uh, children's Tylenol, children's ibuprofen, stuff like that, because there's a lot of kids getting sick because it's cold um, and they don't have any. So children's medications, number one need. Uh, and then diapers and wipes. Usually when we do diapers, it's like size two through five and then wipes, stuff like that. So that can absolutely continue to come. Uh, we are good on water. The whole county is good on water. So we do not need any more bottled water. Um, we are now connected. We're serving three commercial kitchens as of today. We're about to send out a thousand pounds of protein and 2000 pounds of uh, dry goods. And then a metric F ton of number 10 cans. We're supporting uh, Mayfield. We got a commercial kitchen in Mayfield, a commercial kitchen in Benton, and a commercial kitchen somewhere else that I don't remember. Uh, let's see, clothing. We're good on clothing. Please do not bring clothing to us in Benton. However, the Goodwills in Murray, Benton, and Mayfield are all accepting clothing. So you can send clothing straight to them as a donation and it'll go out to the community from there. Uh, what we need at our place, our distribution point, like I said, children's medicine, feminine hygiene products, uh, paper goods, number 10 cans, bulk dry goods, bulk proteins, stuff like that. All that's great, absolutely great. And uh, as an anecdote, one of my guys uh, just came over to me and he said, hey, I did find a genuine use for a rat tourniquet when your belt breaks it works good as a belt so there's a chuckle for you we're going to keep stacking debris out here on the kenneth homestead hit the button all right what are we doing now well right now we're finishing up the uh well i think we've already finished our original debris cleanup job we're adopting this neighborhood now <laughs> because the father's awesome and sent us cool people and i'm on the way back to the fob to move the rest of our dozens of tons of things to a factory that or I'm sorry a warehouse that just opened up and needs it what a coincidence right so, and we're now supporting the fairgrounds in Mayfield where their number one supplier stuff yeah they've got a uh, food court down there so we're gonna plus them up make sure they are not wanting for people or supplies and this is all y'all 
and the father. So thank you for supporting Grindstone. Thank you, for sure. Because we are, I, I'm going to have to call the sheriff and get arrest warrants for everybody out here because they're a bunch of murderers, man. <laughs> we are, <laughs> this is, these people are just killing it. With father's blessing everything that's going on. Oh, man, for and sure. Yep. And this is Warren. God bless you all. Shalom, brother. God bless you all. You were supposed to be at the candle factory. That was pretty close. I almost took a job over there about three weeks ago. Someone talked me out of it, said the management there was uh, Questionable. pretty self-consumed, and I uh, decided not to. The Spirit kept me from there. Thank God, Holy Spirit kept me from that mess. I had a friend that died there that night. Oh, God. Uh, he's getting buried today. I'm sorry to hear that, uh, God bless him. Yeah, he's 21, and uh, he called his mom right as the tornado was hitting. He was behind a wall. That's the last she heard from him. Oh, man. And uh, so he's, he's in his prayers today, but uh, we're here to work, and do the Father's work, and uh, thank what, God. What was his name? Devin. Devin. You pray for Devin and his family. Yep, that's why I asked. And his uh, his cousin just took his own life about four weeks ago, another oh, friend of mine. Gosh. So his, both mothers have lost their sons in the same month. So this is trying times where we got to pull together and uh, support each other. That's what we're here to do, as Paul says. Edify the saints, man. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that's sharing. It. God bless us all. Wow. Look at that. Wow. That's awesome. We're rolling back to the FOB, aka the firehouse. It's fixing to get dark out here. We moved about. 100 cubic yards of construction and demolition debris and 200 cubic yards of vegetative debris. Now we're gonna go back to the fire and firehouse and put out fires. Thank you, the Bravo. All right, we're all smoked. <laughs> it's, it's the, <laughs> I swear we're so, <laughs> go ahead, say that. Say so we all need to go watch fucking coconut. And go to bed. And go to bed. That's what my kids do. Uh, yep. Everybody start, smoked. Yeah, it's time for coconut and night. Yep. And uh, I get to take a giant oak tree off, not off of, out of a house tomorrow. Oak abomination. Oak abomination. It fell through somebody's house. And we're moving everything from here off site for reasons tomorrow because our mission scope has exceeded our space to perform the mission. And our, our donations are more than the four or five fire trucks that need to be in the spot. You guys are awesome and you keep swamping us with stuff. So that's going to do it for today. We're tired. We're going to bed. We're going to watch Coca Melon and then we're going to go to bed. One, two, three, four, five. Once I cut official live, is dope. Yeah. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Right. Why did you let it go? Because it so, bit my finger, so. Which one did it bite? <laughs> this little finger on the right. <laughs> yeah, we're done. Bless y'all. Shalom. <laughs>